Welcome back to The Daily Mastermind. My name is George Wright III with your daily dose of inspiration, motivation, and education. I want to talk to you today about the idea that you don't get what you want. You get what you deserve. And I want to talk to you about some thoughts on how you can create your best life. So I'm going to start with a quote of the day from the Daily Mastermind mobile app. Hopefully you've downloaded that. It's free. It's got a ton of resources for you to help you on the go as entrepreneurs and investors throughout your day. But the quote of the day today is a great one. It simply says, tell the world what you want. Tell the world what you want. Now, I love the idea that you need to tell the world what you want because how many of us actually do that? Not very many. We might think about what we want. We might even talk about it once in a while or discuss it. Maybe even spend a lot of time alone thinking about it. But most of us don't declare or tell the world what we want for a lot of different reasons. We don't tell the world what we want because we either don't really know what we want or we're afraid of what people are going to think if we say it. Or, or maybe even the idea is that we might actually be afraid or fearful that it's just something that we can't really attain and, we're, and we don't want to be disappointed. The problem is, and the problem with this is that we're hesitating and we're keeping ourselves from creating a life that's filled with happiness, prosperity, and success because of fear or hesitation or doubt. And this is just no way to live. We need to find the courage to find out what we want and then declare it to the world. It's only then that you can truly get what we want. I remember um, the MMA world champ, you know, Conor McGregor has said many, many times, You can have anything you want in your life if you're willing to fight and work for it and also tell the world you want it. He's made that comment a few times and it's really impressed me every time. It also reminds me of something that uh, Charlie Munger has said. Charles Munger is, if you don't know him, the vice president uh, and chairman or vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. Warren Buffett's partner. I mean, Warren has actually described him as his partner. But Charles Munger has said before, To get what you want, you have to deserve what you want because the world is not yet crazy enough, uh, a crazy enough place to reward a whole bunch of undeserving people. And I think that's so true. So many times, and, and we're not talking so much about entitlement where people just think they should get what they want, as much as we're saying there's a, there's a simple principle in the fact that if you're willing to tell the world what you want, It's sort of a declaration of what you're asking for, and it's not just a thought process. So I want you to think about what you really want. Like we've talked about many, many times in the past, not so much what you want to do or what you want to get, but what you want your life to be like. But I also want you to make sure that the world knows that that's what you want, and then work like crazy and and, uh, put a lot of massive action in place to get it. I'm going to read you a quick poem, and this poem you might have heard me read before. It's called My Wage. It says... I bargained with life for a penny, and life would pay no more. However, I begged at evening when I counted my scanty store. For life is a just employer. He gives you what you ask. But once you've set the wages, why, you must bear the task. I worked for a menial's hire only to learn dismayed that any wage I had asked of life, life would have paid. So, I love that poem, by the way. So here's a question. If someone were to look at you on your social media or, uh, you know, be around you in your circle of influence, would they know what you really want in life or would they have to ask you? Do, do you make it known what it is that you're working day and night fighting so hard to get? Because that's the key. You know, find out what you want and ask the universe for it. Declare what you want to the world in order to get paid what you're, what you're worth and create that life that you want to have. Now, before I go, and this is just kind of a short message for you today, but I do want to remind you of a couple things that I think can really help you create your best life and get your mindset in the right place. And I'm going to do it a little bit more often because this always comes back to the 12 prosperity pillars that I've put together for you in the Daily Mastermind community. And just as a reminder for those of you that's maybe it's the first time, if you've seen that Daily Mastermind poster, I have 12 pillars of prosperity that I've kind of pulled together and after 20, 25 years of working with some of the best mentors and thought leaders in the world. I've worked with, you know, phenomenal celebrities, experts, seven, eight, nine-figure business entrepreneurs and investors, as well as thought leaders. 
And these are the these are the twelve things that I feel are are pretty critical to creating your best life. And and I take no credit for these because most information out there in the personal development or success space is, is kind of already been out there. But these may be a little bit different than you've heard them in the past, but these are the twelve pillars of prosperity that I that I feel are critical. Number one, I create my life. You've got to know that you are empowered to create your life and you need to believe that and have faith in that. Number two, I take personal responsibility. I take personal responsibility. There's no one else. If it's up to me, it's if it's up to me, it's it's up to me, right? And number three, I act in spite of my mood. Listen, none of us feel like getting out of bed early. None of us want to, you know, put time and energy into our side hustle at the end of a long work day. But successful people act in spite of their mood. Number four, I surround myself with positive people. It's very, very important that you surround yourself with successful, positive people. And be careful because there may be people in your life that are positive, but they're not a good influence. Learn to really take care of the inner circle that you surround yourself with. Have it be people that have good intentions and that care about the service of others. Number five, I focus on solutions. I focus on solutions. Because focusing on the problem will never get you the answer that you need. You've got to start with solutions. Number six, I create an attitude of abundance. Attitude is absolutely the difference maker. And I believe you can create that attitude of abundance and abundant thinking if you choose to. Number seven, I choose to be happy. I choose to be happy. And number eight, I always think win-win. Even when there's difficult situations and you feel like someone's going to lose, there's always the ability to think win-win. In an abundant mindset, you'll find a way. And number nine, I am committed to lifelong learning. Some of the most successful people I know are still very teachable, coachable, and learn. This isn't just about doing things like reading and listening and learning. This is about being open-minded. I'm committed to lifelong learning. Number 10, I create daily rituals. Your daily rituals are what's going to create the habits that will sustain you even when your motivation is gone. And so I create daily rituals is key. Number 11, I attract success. It's so important that you realize that everything doesn't take your effort. You need to obviously and most importantly take massive action, but then you have to allow space for attraction and know that things will come your way to help you create your life. And the last one, number 12, the 12th prosperity pillar is I visualize and manifest my life. And this goes back to what we were talking about here today. Do you have a clear picture of your life? Because you can't manifest that in your life if you don't know what that picture is. And I'm going to continue to pound that idea out because that's a fundamental key to having the right mindset. So those are the 12 prosperity pillars. I hope they're things that can just Maybe you get the poster, maybe you, it's something you can write down and put on your computer screen or on your fridge or your mirror in your bathroom. But the, the idea here is that you've got to continue to follow these pillars because these pillars will guide you towards a life of success and prosperity and happiness and even service to others. And so I encourage you to look at those. I also encourage you to ask the world and declare to the world what it is that you want. And that's my message for today. I will make a a small announcement in that we are going to be filling up a small group mastermind, and I'm going to be taking a few enrollments of individuals that I can work directly with and connect with some of my personal contacts in the fields of financial education, personal development, and business. I've got quite a few contacts and resources I've acquired over the years, and I'm really looking forward to working with the next group of mastermind students. And so if you're interested in applying for one of those spots in our mastermind group, I'd encourage you to just email me directly. Um, I'm going to personally follow up with anyone who has an interest in being in the mastermind. And I'll also put my email address in the show notes, which I never do. Um, This is my personal email address, and it's george at g3worldwide.com. George at g3worldwide.com. Send me some notes, send me some information and let me know what you're up to and how things are going and what I can do to best support you. But if you're interested in being part of our mastermind, I encourage you to hit me up directly. Let me know what it is that you're trying to accomplish in your life and what it is you feel we can help you with. That's my message for today. I hope you have an amazing week. I look forward to talking with you more tomorrow. 
Once again, this is George Wright III, and this has been The Daily Mastermind.